We wouldn't agree less that on a positive note, SpaceX is giving more hope for humanity than anything else on this planet. But, it's worrisome how Elon's entire Starship design is being duplicated by a slimly less competitive agency in the space game. China has been spying on SpaceX and consistently studying the Starship and its design, and they've come up with exact design of the Starship. No doubt, China has successfully cloned the SpaceX Starship, yet they feel unapologetic and unremorseful about it. How was China able to copy the exact design of the Starship? From the nose cone, to the body, the booster, and down to its Raptor engine? How did China model everything to look like a duplicate of the Starship without feeling ashamed of doing it? Let's find out all these answers in today's episode of Tech SpaceX. China likes how SpaceX is developing the Starship, yet they don't want to kill their ego and go closer to SpaceX and learn from the source. They have secretly decided to copy the Starship and design it to their own style and taste. But why are they doing this? Listen, countries that has ambition to kick off something in outer space has their own space agency. The U.S. has NASA, India has ISRO, and China has China National Space Administration. But it's quite disgracing that China is always hell-bent on building the exact rocket designed by SpaceX. Perhaps they couldn't come up with their own original innovations from scratch. And if that's the case, they could have sent some of their engineers on a key rocket development training at SpaceX to get trained on how to manufacture explicit rockets that will perform better. But hell no, they just want to mimic SpaceX's exact rocket design to reduce the stress of discovering something new, or they don't want to lose money in the event of rocket explosion, failing and trying again. However, this is not the first time China is seen as a copycat. The previous rocket China copied from SpaceX was when they designed their crew capsule to look exactly like SpaceX's Dragon capsule. It all began with Cast Space during the ceremony of their manufacturing base and Nancha Gangsaw on January 9th. China's new crew capsule that was presented resembles SpaceX's Dragon capsule to which China seems to have cloned it. Chinese Academy of Sciences and Technology, Cast Space is already developing rockets for commercial satellite launches as announced in 2021, but all of a sudden, they nursed the idea of transporting astronauts to the ISS. The rocket is a single-stage reusable rocket that would take as many as seven passengers on a 10-minute flight above the Kármán line at 62 miles, which is generally the boundary between Earth's atmosphere and outer space. The name of the rocket in question is ZK-6. It's 15 meters high and 3.35 meters in diameter with four windows. The ZK-6 rocket is powered by 515TXY1 engines, can be reused more than 30 times, according to Cask Space. And if you patiently take a closer look, you can see that this ZK-6 remarkably resembles the SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule. Also, the ZK-6 rocket has grid fins, just like SpaceX's super heavy booster near the top of the rocket, and the function of this grid fins is to guide the rocket's descent and instead of integrating landing legs, the rocket is designed to be caught by an arm attached to a launch tower, and that's just the same concept unveiled by SpaceX for its massive Starship super heavy rocket, which will be caught in midair by the chopsticks arms. However, the ZK-6 upper stage is expected to descend to Earth with the aid of three parachutes. And China is working towards 2025 to launch ZK-6 into space. That's according to the founder of Beijing-backed commercial launch service provider Yang Yang Kuang. Another rocket that China copied from SpaceX is the Long March 9th, which is said to be China's most powerful rocket during its test. The spacecraft soared to an altitude of about 5,000 miles above Earth. Long March 9th is being developed by the China Academy of Launch Vehicle Technology, or CALT. During the China's National Space Day event in the city of Jif, that's in the Anhui province, China's plans for the Long March 9th rocket, including developing an apparently Starship-inspired fully reusable version, was finally unleashed. The initial version, which is 114 meters long, has a massive liftoff of 4,400 tons, and it will generate 6,100 tons of thrust. This will be followed by a two-stage variant capable of carrying 150 tons of payload to low Earth orbit or 100 tons when landing the first stage. A fully reusable 80 tons to LEO variant will be the ultimate objective and it is planned to take off by 2040s. 
Taking a critical look at all these, you won't fail to recognize the silhouette of Starship, especially the upper stage, which would allow for reuse of the second stage in addition to the already planned reuse of the first stage. Its operations differ from that of SpaceX only in a very few small details, else everything just looked the same. Another Chinese space firm, the semi-private ones such as Link Space and Galactic Energy appear to be mimicking SpaceX launch technology without leaving any stone unturned. For instance, in 2021 a promotional video captured and shared on the Chinese social network Weibo shows two different concepts for achieving suborbital passenger flights about two decades from now. What's interesting about the video is the first concept looks strikingly like the SpaceX Starship stainless steel body. Seamlessly, they even function as well although Starship's primarily been promoted as a vehicle to take humans to the moon and Mars, unlike China's copied spacecrafts that only aims for the ISS SpaceX has also developed a point-to-point -point concept, as well as the Earth-to-Earth -Earth concept in September of 2017. In a video released at the time showed a suborbital flight time on Starship from New York City to Shanghai in about 39 minutes and advertised the capability of anywhere on Earth in less than an hour. Now, coming to the most interesting aspect of this video, what do you think the tech billionaire, Elon Musk, responded to the rumored news of China, doing what they know best, copying and copying? Well, when Musk was interviewed by Jay Leno TV host during a tour around SpaceX's facility in Texas and asked if SpaceX did not enroll for patents in building its rocket, Elon Musk answered and said SpaceX avoids using patents to build rockets because they look to belong to the weak in rocket innovation. This is not the first time billionaire Musk has criticized the use of patents in an interview. During one of the interview way back in 2012, Musk said SpaceX has essentially no patents, and he continued to give his reasons by adding that it would be ridiculous if the company published its patents because the Chinese would just use them as a recipe book. In a Tesla conference call eight years ago, Musk also said patents were a sign that a company was failing to innovate fast enough. Musk also said in the CNBC interview that SpaceX used strong stainless steel to make the rocket in response to a question about whether the company had patents for the stainless steel material Musk said no, and added that patents were normally used as a blocking technique to prevent other companies from progressing they just stop others from following you, and continue saying that most patents are BS he told Leno during the tour. China can copy the body all they want. The real challenge for them will be creating an engine, referring to the Raptor engine for that matter, and designing an exact Starship that will be reused over and over again, and not just that, have the capability to send 100 person, including astronauts, to Mars. Gracefully, there are other exciting aspects of SpaceX Starship launch procedures, talking about the Starship flying beyond the lower Earth orbit to Mars, another Starship has to refill the traveling ship before it heads on all of which will be done up there in space, without platform landing. And the hard question is, will the Chinese agency be able to apply same technique in their rocket design? Of course, it will be tough to make it come true. The most difficult to produce will be the Raptor engine, that is if China decides to copy the design styles of the booster's Raptor 2 engine, it will be difficult because developing the launch pad for the booster to fire a powerful Raptor 2 engine is another hectic rocket science journey to embark on, yet it's the most important piece of the entire rocket. Additionally, the chronic setback for China is a history of engine development troubles, being unable to make something that functions better like other space companies they secretly copy. Do you think China will succeed in copying SpaceX with a functional rocket? While they do, SpaceX is doing some changes in the new Starship changes that will change everything. Just click on the video to know everything about this.